Pueblo, Colorado day, racing today. We made it to day three and I gotta get this thing ready to go. I need to switch back to my street tank. I need to get my tools put back in it. Probably just gonna leave the windows in all day and drive around to the track with them in so we don't have to take them on and off. But I'm really hoping to do a nine second pass today. I've only been in the 12s and the 11s. I know it's nine seconds capable, but we're gonna get there. Brent's over here. He's up. He's been up early this morning like I am. We're back to his home track, Pueblo and Vandermeer. So let's do this. Do you know what they're naming this thing? Dude, no way. Oh, good thing. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Your, uh, if you watch them come out and it doesn't start now. <laughs> well, we know what we did. We took a relay out and we unplugged a fan. I came over here. I was having heat issues yesterday. I'm definitely low on coolant. She's a little low, huh? Off. Not too low, but she definitely needs some air. Needs some water. And you know, since that's a little bit higher right there than that, so yeah. it always helps to get it up a little higher on the front. When you're filling it up. You know, just so you don't get air. Overflow tank was it? I think Jamie bought a burper too, so that would. Did he? Yeah. Nice. Yep. So that could come in handy. Cool. This thing's this thing's Easy. wild when you really look at it all. Oh, great! Right on here? Yeah, missing one there, and then the vacuum line for your rising rate regulator. That'll make making power really hard. Because it has, you know, every one pound of boost gives it one more pound of fuel pressure. Well, that could be an issue. Yeah, dog, for sure. Good eye. Good, Good eye. eye. That's what I do every day, so that's my surgeon stuff. <laughs> well, well that, put that on the list of to do, or stuff to do. Today. Yeah, that's it. That could be uh, what's going on, maybe. Yep. Dude, we made it. We made Wait, it. Motorsports Park Day 3. Racing's about to begin. Brent pointed out one thing we need to need to fix is we don't have a line going to our fuel pressure regulator. So I got some for a quarter inch from Home Depot and I got a splitter that I brought with me. So we're gonna get that plumbed up real quick. That's quick and easy. I already got switched over to the race setup. So we got the wheels on the car. Everything's out of it. We're freaking ready to lay down a fat pass. Let's go. We're gonna do it this time. We got to, we got to, we got to go, we got to go fast. To fix this, I'm put this cooler on, so I just keep it closed. I'm using the line that went to the blow off valve from the intake. And then connect this around here. We're good to go. We do need some more zip ties over here. Next pair coming up, that's Aaron Devon on the right lane. Race gas setup is going. We can do this. Looking for an 11 or better. Yeah, dude. Honestly, a 9 would be so sick, but I'm pretty sure to have fun, you know? That's the idea.
152. No way! about the wheelie. It was Holy like, dude, that was right. perfect. It can go Next press is coming at you. This is that position. It'll a while, but the I didn't go in. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, dude, dude, that was a, you were waiting for that pin back. Dude. Finally. I love it. <laughs> oh, I was right. so angry. <laughs> I bet you knew it was fast. I knew I knew it was quick, but I didn't know it was that quick. When they hit the six foot, I go, Tom there's his the first right line. All right, we're walking around Walmart, Ben. I think I have a good idea. What's that? We should get some uh, Razor scooters. <laughs> That's going to help a lot. It will. Going yeah. back and forth between. We have to get some new foot pads. <laughs> yeah, his feet hurt. All right, let's find. Oh, there we go. This is the one we need to get. The Ultra Spark. Oh, sick. Dude, we got to get that. Dang. That is clean, dude. We're going to be looking good out there. Wow. All right, let's see the sparks. Don't shoot. Check out and see what's up. Yeah, last time was a bit much. Oh, the Ring of Fire. Oh. 10 drop left lane. Oh, you're asking for it now, dude. Peyton Bullock in the right lane. That's in our 90 class. Brand new this year. second hit in the car did a 9.5 at 148. I gave it a little bit more spice on the lead, but I wasn't watching the boost on the two steps. So, you know, it is what it is. We still have a 9.3, which I'm super happy with. We'll see how the night continues on, if we're going to stick with that or make another hit. 
consistently but, wow. in the nines on day three. That's awesome. I know, dude. If we can pull off nines for the rest of the trip, I'm so stoked for that. I mean, seriously. It's, uh, it's starting to cool off a little bit, so we'll see what everyone else wants to do. But we're getting it right. That's right. Rails. Where they mount to the high ram. Right. That, that spacer right there. Yeah. It's made out of stainless the way it comes from a uh, way it comes from motor. And it transfers a lot of heat from the intake manifold that gets heat soaked from the block into the rail. So I use PTFE spacers. Yep. Uh, we're the exact same size as the ones that come with it. And you said that it run like 40% cooler with those? Degrees. 40 degrees. Between, between 30 and 40 degree cooler. That's crazy. Because we were having that issue yesterday with fuel's getting too hot. So he came out to me and was like, hey, you should try these out. But he doesn't have any extra ones. <laughs> I didn't bring any extra ones. This is just something I heard before I even come up here. Yeah. Uh, from somebody else that runs Race Week a lot. Yeah. Uh, so just. What's the setup on this thing? Uh, it's a 5.3 out of a Yukon, an O2 Yukon. Yeah. Uh, I had it bored to a 5.7, so it's a 5.7 iron block. Okay. Uh, 80 millimeter turbo, uh, T56 Magnum stick trucks. And what are you running? Uh, today I ran a 10.7. Okay. Nice. Nice, man. Oh, dude, stick shift class, huh? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. There's a, I entered it because the stick shift class is pretty small, or it was in it the is. past. Yeah. Uh, there's 27 cars in it this year, though. People are probably watching, saying, hey, that's a pretty competitive, easy class to be competitive in. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. That's what I did, too. I was like, there's not very many people in Unlimited, but now there's 10 to 15 people. Right. So, right. Uh, cool. This was the first time I actually put a pass together and uh, yeah. at altitude, so I'm pretty happy with it. It's nice. It's 4,400 pounds. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. How do we do today? Day three. 9.386 at 152 miles an hour. We'll take it. Actually, I'm really pumped about it. It's our first nine. We're thinking we can get it down into the eights. We're not going to do it tonight. We have Vandermeer tomorrow and then Carney. Our number one goal this week is to finish. And if we can get a nine second average at least over the next couple stops that I think that is a success by far. Yeah, yeah. we don't need to overwork the car, we're just trying to make it point A to point B. And uh, I mean it's an endurance, so who knows what's gonna happen over the next couple days. Quite a few cars have dropped out already. <laughs> so Right, right. So this is our route for tomorrow. We got 180 miles to Bainamir. Our check point is at I don't know. Oh the South Park City Museum in Fair Play. Colorado. So it's gonna be a cool day driving through the mountains. So let's do this. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Woo! Good stuff coming. Both of them are only catch up. And I'll get two big doubles, only catch up. And then I'll